Hi everyone and welcome to your favorite channel. You and the law. Law can be discussed anywhere and everywhere. And in fact, that's the essence of um, having this channel on so that wherever we are, we can discuss law as much as we can for the understanding of everybody. I'm in a restaurant somewhere. I just uh, came to take my breakfast in a restaurant somewhere. And um, I feel we should also do a bit of law, even in the restaurant. <laughs> mm. Merry Christmas to all of you. I do hope you are, do you are good, you are doing fine, wherever you are. And I hope you are preparing yourself for the feast of the Christmas. So, coming to the restaurant like this, a number of legal issues, a lot of... Um, Legal questions um, come to my mind. What's the legal obligation and responsibility of the owner of this restaurant? What's, what are the requirements of law? What does the law require of the owner of this um, restaurant? And every other place of eating, where you open to members of the public to come and eat, what are the legal responsibilities, you know, of the person that opens a place like this for others to come in and eat. The first is the duty of care. Every owner of a restaurant has a duty to ensure that his place, which is a public place, which is a place open to members of the public, is safe enough for those that are patronizing his or her restaurant. So safety is very important. You must keep it in a, a very safe condition so as not to endanger the life of anybody that comes into your restaurant to eat safety. So the tables you provide, the seats you provide, must be such that when someone sits, he doesn't fall down and then enjoy himself. If someone comes to your restaurant, the cause of eating, the table collapses, the person falls down, injures himself, you'll be held accountable and liable, you know, by the law. And therefore, you're expected to ensure the safety of your customers at all times. As soon as, as much as you open the restaurant, must ensure the safety of all your customers. That's very important. If you fail in that, <clears throat> the law is certainly going to come after you and make you completely liable. There is the second responsibility of the owner of a restaurant is a second responsibility. And that second responsibility is the responsibility to ensure that what you are saving to members of the public is something that is safe for human consumption. So you don't carry an expired product and sell to members of the public. You don't serve dishes that you know has been poisoned, one way or the other. You don't serve dishes that will injure, you know, the, the persons that are eating, whether immediately or thereafter. So you owe a duty to ensure that the food served in your restaurant is food that is good for human consumption, is food that is not poisonous, is food that is not going to, you know, cause any harm to the health of the customers. That have come to your restaurant to eat. And for the customers that come to eat here, there's also a duty, a responsibility that the Lord expects of you, and that's the duty to pay for what you have consumed. So you don't just come into somebody's restaurant, eat, walk away without paying. You have a duty to pay for what you have consumed. And I think it is important when you get into a restaurant. First of all, safe to know how much their dishes are. 
so that you don't eat and say you don't have money to pay. Every citizen that walks into someone's um, place of business, restaurant, has a responsibility to pay for what he or she consumes and not to just sit down, eat, and then walk away. Many thanks. It's always my pleasure to discuss law with you. I discuss law everywhere. Every place has issues of law to discuss about. So I discuss law everywhere. And the whole essence is to ensure that um, everybody has at least an understanding of what the law says. So that together we can have a better country to live in. So that together we can have um, neighbors who are happy. Who are happy with them. When everything is done in accordance with the rule of law, then society certainly will be a better place to live. That's the science of this edition of You and the Law. I do hope you have learned one or two things. Together we will continue to enjoy the festive season and beyond. Many times, click to the like button so that together we can continue to enjoy um, You and the Law. I remain your friend and host, the Kenny. I'm a lawyer. Most my pleasure to discuss with you.